Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I will just want to tell you, before this video has been done, I would like to say this same video has been translated in Portuguese and in Spanish and probably in other language I will do. And I appreciate you for all that. See, let's talk about the beginning of the, the life of the Jewish people. As you know, Abraham, right, the, the beginner, so was living in an old time in Mesopotamia. So, in Mesopotamia, uh, he thought, so I should leave this land and look for another land where I'll be set down the people of Abraham. That's me, Abraham. That's what he thought. So he went with the, his ideas uh, to the Canaan land. And over there, uh, she got, he got it, uh, his son, Isaac. Uh, his son, Isaac, <coughs> I'm very sorry, uh, yeah, his grandson. So, his grandson of Abraham, named Jacob. Jacob, you know, got serious problems, familiar problems for different kind of ideas. And he told himself, let's go back to Mesopotamia, the land exactly where Abraham left to, to go to the Canaan land. And over there in Mesopotamia, uh, uh, Jacob got 12 kids, 12 sons. And these 12 sons were just the beginning and the representative of the 12 tribes of the Jewish land. So, this was the history, the old Bible, and the Torah, the Bible of the Jewish people, says, says or say, uh, last night I was watching, uh, last afternoon and last night I was watching the, the news, Brazilian news and a global TV and also another uh, medias in the world, international medias. And they were talking about the <coughs> I'm very sorry again. They were talking about the the block the the United States has been done to the Venezuela. As you know, Venezuela got a lot of oil. I for sure that you know. And exactly on the Middle East with a lot of conflict from the last most, almost two weeks in between the terrorism group and the, the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, the the 
Hamas, Hamas, the terrorism group, has attack has been done. A few attacks to Israel and killed a few innocent people. So, with that, uh, the Prime Minister of Israel corrupted and you should know if Israel inside of their own land got a lot of protest in between the Israeli people because this that that uh, genocide uh, before the conflict began uh, he tried to guard to go over the Supreme Court. As you know, Supreme, what do you mean Supreme is? Above Supreme, only the Lord. But the decision of Supreme Court is the maximum point that it can go in a justice. So, but that's what not Benjamin Netanyahu uh, thinks. He thinks in a different way. So after the, after the uh, Supreme Court decision, all those decisions should go back to the Congress to see if the Congress is going to approve or not. Look what kind of stupidity because the Supreme Court has been decided. Look what he tried to create. Try to give the power of one institution to another. And that's not true. That's not the way it is. So, but let's go back to Venezuela. Uh, the Yankees, so, they thought, oh, what's going on now? We, we, we're going to be in a very bad situation because the production of oil all over the world is in the hands of the Arabic people and also Venezuela and a few other countries like Brazil. So, the President Biden doesn't matter if Democrat or Republican, is in fact Democrat, but he seems to me the neurons that are not working. Because to support Israel in this way, in be together or to the genocide, uh, Netanyahu, he should be out of control. And spend millions, millions and millions of dollars. See? So, let's think this way, he thought. Uh, we have blocked uh, Venezuela for uh, the last few years, but now let's, uh, let's then think uh, we're going to see and uh, let's promote the free elections in Venezuela, right? And so, that's what they did, okay? We're going to interrupt the block for the next six months. So, you were smart. I think you were smart. For sure you are. 
What are you trying to do with that? Because they say and they know <coughs> the oil all over the world is going to be reduced. And let's buy from Venezuela. Because we interrupt the block, the barricades. And let him down. No, let's change some prisoners. No, that's all bullshit. The only way he tries to work is in their own benefits, buying the oil from Venezuela, and for sure below the real price. Try to give. Try to give to them some kind of assistance. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. That's not the way. Because you remember also years ago what they did to Iraq. It was a dictator government. Saddam Hussein was there. But they tried with the fantasy Oh, they have chemical weapons. Was well, not true because they never find anything in Iraq. They killed Saddam Hussein. They destroyed the Iraq. And after, they didn't stop. They went to Libya. Also, Another dictator regimen. And they cause another destruction in another different land. Libya also. They produced also a lot of oil. They killed the dictator Muammar al Qaddaf. So but the Taliban was also there. And some groups were fighting between themselves. But not before. No, because the, before it was the power of Muammar al Qaddaf. But with the gringos, with the Yankees in there, try to serve, always, always take them take for themselves everything they're looking for. So, Muammar al-Qadhaf has been killed and the destruction is still, still on the air in that land, in Libya. In Afghanistan, they stayed there, they stayed there for 20 years. But before, the land was not a great, was not so peaceful. No. But all of you that are assisting this video, you also assist, assisted in, in a small screen of your TV sets when the planes uh, left the capital of Afghanistan. Too many Afghans were uh, holding the plane from the front, from the back and the plane took off. And those human beings just were falling down to the land and dying one by one after the plane took off. That's what the gringos did. But don't go back. Don't go farther. Sorry, don't go farther. 
Don't go to Vietnam. No. They lost a lot of soldiers. A lot. They destroyed the country, but they lost the war. And with just these three lands, Iraq, Libya, and Vietnam, and Afghanistan, just those four, those four, don't look for another one. Because since 1492, when Colombo discovered America, a few years later, the United States of America were trying to look for a trouble and trying to tell the whole world, doesn't matter, this land, that land, the land on the back, we are the most powerful on the planet. You can see, and in the money of the American money, in the dollars, the sell of dollars, you say at the top, in God we trust. Now I'm asking you, what God is that? What kind of God is that? That's not my God. I don't believe in God. But they say they believe. Finally, after Bin La, uh, Joe Biden, sorry, Joe Biden stayed with the Prime Minister of Israel, giving all the support, spending billions of dollars. So, and send all the big ships, army ships, tanks, planes to the Mediterranean Sea, uh, we saw, we assisted on TV. See, we watched the Minister of European, um, Mrs. Uh, let me remember her name, uh, Vanderlein, Mrs. Vanderlein. Uh, almost putting like uh, Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, in a most, almost in a pedestal, like a god, and he's not a god. And the British Prime Minister went physically to the front, being the front of uh, Netanyahu, and said, open We did, you did the right. Let's keep doing. That's what he said. What do these people is think? Hypocrite people. Hypocrisy. The euro money is coming down, down. And the Americans do not represent the Germany of the whole world. It's also coming down, down, down. Russia, Putin, and China just two big countries were against all this, all those words of the uh, Occidental people. Just say those two big countries. I'm not saying about North Korea. I'm not saying about Venezuela. I'm not saying about Brazil. Let's put this way. 
try to analyze all that. I'm not doing, I'm not saying the Hamas, the terrorism group, who has been created not to be a terrorist. No. The, uh, the circumstances of pressure against the Palestinian people has been motivated. This group with another group with another one and a few ones in the middle of Lebanon, in Afghanistan, the Taliban, and the, the Jurat Islamic, and a few others. In all the Arab countries which circulated the land, the promised land. Now let me ask you, who promised that land? Uh, the land of honey and milk. Who said that? Don't believe it. Just believe it in one point. The whole world is hypocrite to majority and the majority of the politicians, they are see just one face of the hand. They do not see this face. That's what I try to say to you. So I appreciate it, your understanding. And until the next time, good afternoon.